hello, welcome, my name is Prue Aluru, <laughs> and today I am so excited because I I finally bought these two. Um, I'm not excited about the Divinity palette, let's be honest. I am excited about the Creepy Creep palette. Well, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you've heard me talk about this damn palette like way too many times, and yeah, it's finally here. I finally caved, I finally bought it, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a palette that like when I was first getting into watching smaller youtubers I saw everyone have it and I still remember like watching Georgia Harris's video with it with the cold shoulder shade I'm so sad that those, her makeup videos are gone but she's enjoying her life she's living her real but I am super excited so they recently had a 20% off sale I've been watching the sales for a long time I just wish they had more products that I wanted to buy, but they don't really. I only really wanted Creepy Cute, and yeah, that's how I ended up buying Creepy Cute and Divinity, because I was like, oh, I might as well just get the bundle. And I'm, I'm kind of excited, like it looks pretty cute now that I've got it in person, but I am more excited for this. So as usual, everything that is on my face should be listed in the description bar below, and I'm going to prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer today before we create whatever look I'm about to dive into. I think I know where I'm going to go but I'm not sure. It is crazy to me how far that primer spreads. I love it. Alright, let's bring you in. I'm sorry, anyway, I have like a full pimple there. There's more. So to guide the look, I'm going to go in with Void which is our black here and this little pointy Jessup brush, what is it? It's the 322 brow liner. I'm gonna line up from my like underneath my eye and bring it up and out, and then I'm gonna just bring it up. And this is just to help guide like how big it's gonna be. All right, so for effect, then I'm gonna go in with it my Morphe M149 and back into void. I don't need to show it to you again, do I? Just because it's like a little do that, and I'm gonna just fill in a little bit. Oh, that's not really what I meant to do, but I will. And blend it up. And then I'm going to. Should I keep using this brush? Yeah. Where is my sponge? I'm just gonna clean that brush off a little bit, and I'm gonna go into the next darker shade. Which I feel like, oh, let's just use Tombstone. I feel like I'll never use this shade otherwise. Oh wow, instant, more kick up. And I'm just going to line it here against that black and then try and blend it through. I don't want it to be the signature, but I want the black to sort of fade out. Uh, and, alright. Just figuring out the formula too. And as we're going, I'm just doing underneath my eye as well because why not? Just so they match and I don't have to keep changing brushes. Alright, I feel like we've kind of got that. Cleaning this brush off again. Right, I feel like it's going to be take a hint. Alright, and we're finally into some colours. Then I'm going to go into Creep It Real, which is like a teal. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Ooh, yes. Alright, and yes, the Anastasia primer does crease. But what I'm doing when I'm getting to that part that's creased is just tapping and sort of blending it through a little bit at the same time. And look, you can't see once it's there. Are we even? I have no idea how people do like one eye and then go into the other. Like, I need to do them both at the same time. Especially for this like, kind of effect that I'm going for. So cleaning the brush off again. And this is the shade I've been dying to try. Cold shoulder. Alright, this is like some fish vibes going on. So I'm going to go in with plan planchette. Is it planchetta? And this is going to just bring us back down to the front. Oh, I don't know if I should just put strawberry milk in my inner corner. I, press, I probably should. No, I feel like strawberry milk is going to suit this the best. All 
Right, I feel like we do need something just like a little bit above to sort of blend through. I wonder, third eye is all like this orange and I feel like we've used everything else, so might as well. And what I want is it just see how it goes. All right. Oh, that's kind of fun. Like it's just like a little bit of a tinge. I had to go higher <laughs> on one side than the other, didn't I? Well, that's all right, easy fixed. Well, let's bring Void up a little bit then. And then going in with that gray tombstone, take a hint. I'm just so worried about overdoing it. Creep it real. And cold shoulder. Alright, I think we're like a little bit more even. I'm okay with it. Oh, I might just pull in Hathor from the Divinity palette and put that on my inner corner because it's a little shimmer. I just feel like a bit naked without any shimmers. We've worked up a sweat. Let's dab it away. So I'm just going to tight line, like, not tight line because that hurts. But using my next epic liner, I'm just going to put it at the bottom of my lash line. No, oh, yeah, I've accidentally made it into a wing. All right, let's curl the lashes and put mascara on. Oh, we should do something in the waterline, shouldn't we? Hmm. What should we put? Um, waterline. I feel like. Mint cream, this is like my, one of my favorites <laughs> from NYX. I can't stop using it. Mascara. You need bad girl bang. All right, sorry. <laughs> Let's put mascara on. I just realized I was filming with my microphone. I don't know, I'm, gonna have to, I'm having lots of microphone difficulties lately. So I don't know, I've got to fix up what app I'm using to record on my microphone because the microphone I have is a USB one so I have it connected to my Surface Pro and then it records but it's not been working lately with the app so if you know any like easy microphone apps can you let me know please I just want one that's not like really complicated is this lip the best one I feel like we're going. I think I'm going to chuck on this Yate Topaz lip, which is just a bit of a glitter. Let's show you the final look. And with the lips. So, the black on this side blended way better than this side. I'm not sure what's going on. It looks a bit patchy. Definitely not the best black I've used. I believe that these are handmade. So, <laughs> so I believe they're handmade, but I can't actually find that anywhere on the website to support that claim. They do sort of act like a handmade shadow, I'm sure. Can someone confirm? But just because, yeah, they don't have an about section on their website, but I'm sure they used to. But that's me using like every shade in the <laughs> creepy cute palette. I do really love the colors. I think I'm very excited to have added this to my collection. As you guys know, Pastel Goth is one of my favorite palettes to have. So there's some really fun shades. I don't know, like Pastel Goth still has like a bit more, like that yellow really adds to it, but a lot of the shades are pretty similar. Like, I don't know. I think I would now happily say I would get the Strobe Cosmetics over the Pastel Goth, and it doesn't really matter because Pastel Goth is long gone. Now, the formula was easy to work with and did its job. I'm just not too sure on the Void shade. I probably will play with it again and see how it goes. It has promise. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, I bought this in the summer sale that is still going on. The bundle for the both of the palettes is like 60 US dollars. But if you buy, put them in your cart separately and then add the code some love, that takes it down to $14, making the palettes $56 US total. It is 20 USD for shipping to Australia. 
and I ordered on the 3rd of the 8th they were shipped on on the 5th so like I ordered on the weekend they shipped on the Monday and they got to me on the 19th of August uh, so about two two weeks which is about standard for all shipping to me from the US um I'm super excited to have these I'm excited to play with them a bit more let me know what do you think of today's look? Did you enjoy it? And I am off to the groceries. Grocery store right now. So wish me luck and thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, I'd absolutely love it if you'd consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Mwah.